Elizabeth, 94% effective. Now we have a second vaccine providing so much hope. Tell us what you've learned. John, indeed, these numbers are stunning. Pfizer's vaccine showing very similar results. Let's get right to the details. As you said, let's break it down. What this Moderna data shows is that they gave 15,000 people a placebo. That's a shot of saline that does nothing. 90 of those people became sick with COVID over the period of several months. They also gave the same number of people the actual vaccine. Only five of those people became sick with COVID. That is where you get that stunning. 94.5% effectiveness. Now, not only that, but the vaccine protected against severe illness. Those five people who took the vaccine and got sick, none of them became severely ill. But of the folks who got the placebo and got sick, 11 of them became severely ill. Also, good news on the safety end of things. A small number of people had things like um, headaches or muscle aches after receiving their two doses of the vaccine, and it is a two-dose vaccine vaccine, but there was nothing severe, nothing terrible happened. Now, this news, this is news to us, and yesterday it was news to Moderna. An independent panel called the Data and Safety Monitoring Board analyzed these numbers, and they told Moderna about these results yesterday afternoon. Let's take a listen to the chief medical officer at Moderna, Dr. Tal Zax. Tell me, how did it feel to hear that number, 94.5%? Elizabeth, it's one of the greatest moments of my life and my career. It is uh, absolutely amazing to me to be able to uh, develop this vaccine and see the ability to prevent symptomatic disease with such high efficacy. Now, neither Pfizer nor Moderna has applied to the FDA for authorization on its vaccine. They can't do that quite yet. They need to accumulate some more safety data, but that is expected to happen very soon. I spoke yesterday with Dr. Anthony Fauci. He said that he thinks vaccinations could begin in the United States, states in the second half of December. Allison, John? Second half of December, which is really just a few weeks away at this point, but talk to me about the distribution pattern, Elizabeth. What is the plan really for both vaccines? Right. So for, for both vaccines, it's the same, John. Not everybody will be able to get this vaccine at first because we won't have enough. So there are high priority groups, elderly people, healthcare workers, people with underlying um, medical conditions. They will be first in line. And that's who's expected to start getting it in December. Dr. Fauci said other people, people who are not high risk, he doesn't think they'll be able to start getting the vaccine until he said the end of April. And he said it will take months. He said May, June, July. It'll take months to vaccinate all of of those people.